Changing your gear cables could quite possibly be the best thing that you can do to improve the performance of your shifting. Putting new, good quality cable inners and outers on will improve the accuracy of your shifting. It's gonna make the shifting action lighter, and particularly, it's gonna help with troublesome downshift. So going from the big ring to the little ring, or changing into harder gears at the cassette. Now, doing it right, doing it by the book, could make even more of a difference as well. So this is how to do it. As you can see, we are changing the gear cables on a Shimano equipped bike, and Shimano recommends that you use their own cable inners and outers. So that is exactly what we are going to do. In some cases, you may find that you can just replace the metal inner. So perhaps it's become damaged in some way, but generally you'll find that if your gear shifting is becoming heavy, you need to replace both. To do the job, the only specialist tool you need really is a good quality set of cable cutters. However, you may also find that a pick comes in handy as does a file, and then if you've got internal cable routing, you will also need one of these, a thin plastic tube. The first step is to remove your old cables. So to do that, we need to loosen the Allen key cinch bolt on the derailleur, and it's the same for either the front or the rear derailleur, and then snip off this cable end cap. So that's a little bit of metal there using your cable cutters. Now, before we yank our old cable out, we need to do one quick check, and that is to see whether our cables are rooted internally. So like this one, where they're hidden inside the frame. Because if they are, we then need to use our thin plastic tube. And what we wanna do is actually thread it over the old cable and then into the frame. That way, when we start pulling the old cable out, this plastic tube gets dragged all the way through the frame, whereupon, it can then act as a guide for our new cable. So you literally then just put the new cable into this tube and then reverse the process. It can literally save you hours of poking around in the dark inside your frame, which can happen on some bikes which have poor internal cable routing. Now, it would be a very good idea to put a piece of tape over that plastic tube, keep it in place, because we really, really don't want to lose it. Frustratingly, when we're replacing our cable outers as well, that does mean that we have to unwind our bar tape. However, if it's in good condition like this and it's not stuck down, then I tend to reuse it. Slightly controversial, I know, but I think I can get away with it. So all you gotta do at that point is to pull back the lever hoods and then unwind your bar tape as far as this point. Saving time and money. Now, don't just discard the cable outers that you're taking off your bike, because we're gonna use these as templates in order to cut the new ones to the right length. In actual fact, now is probably the perfect time to do just that. Hold the new cable next to the old one, and then where the old one finishes, you wanna make a really nice firm cut at 90 degrees. Now, even with the best cut in the entire world, you're quite likely to have to just squeeze the end of the cable outer together just to make it round again. And then, as you can see here, if you look closely, the inner sheath there is just a little bit compressed. And so at this point, we take our pick, although probably the end of a biro will do the job, and then just make it the opening a little bit bigger so that the cable can pass as freely as possible. You can always take a file, and then just file down the end of the cable out of there to make it super flat, because that will have a small bearing on the quality of your shifting. Basically, the flatter that is, the less chance there is for the outer to compress or to flex against the cable ferrules. In our dedicated pack from Shimano of inners and outers, there is one length of cable outer that's designed to be used between your rear derailleur and the frame. So it's important that you use that bit in the right place. And it's also important that you cut the right end to length. So not the bit that's got a silver ferrule on the end of it. That's the ferrule, by the way, is that little bit that goes on the end. Now, the general rule of thumb with cutting cable outers to the right length is that they need to be as short as possible before they start affecting either the quality of your shifting or the ability of your bike to actually steer. So bends that are too tight in your cable outers will load up the friction on the cables and so make your gears worse. And then you also wanna be able to turn your handlebars freely, of course, without the cable outers being pulled from their stops. 
Okay, let's start doing some re-cabling, shall we? Now that set of cable inners and outers from Shimano have everything we need. So two inners, enough outers to re-cable the bike, and also all those crucial little cable ferrules. Now before we thread the cable into the shifter, we need to make sure that it is in the hardest gear at the back so that you click all the way down using that lever. And then if you're doing your front derailleur cable, then you need to make sure that the shifter is in what would be the little chain ring. Then you simply thread it in. Now different Shimano shifters thread cables in different ways. So this one here goes through from this side of the lever and through to the other side. Thread your first cable ferrule on. Now these ones actually have a groove in that fits inside the shifter better. So there is a dedicated ferrule for this particular job. Now you notice that I'm installing these cables without adding any kind of grease or lube. And that's because these Shimano ones have got a special polymer coating on the inner that makes them super duper slippery. And then they've got Shimano's own choice of grease already inside these cable outers. So I don't need to do anything, it makes life a little bit easier. Now if I was installing lesser cables on my bike, then I would choose to use a little bit of light grease. Now it does increase the friction ever so slightly of your shifting, but where I ride, it actually makes the whole system a little bit more weatherproof, so it just lasts that little bit longer. Install a ferrule on the other end of the cable. These ones have got a really long nozzle on them, so it improves weatherproofing. And then we can thread it back into our frame. Now once you have successfully got your inner cable through your frame, you can now give yourself a pat on the back. By this point, if you were recabling your front derailleur, then the cable would already be there. Obviously with the rear cable, you have one extra length of housing to go. So you have one cable ferrule on the end, then you have your cable outer with the metal ferrule that we talked about earlier coming last. Now with the inner cable threaded all the way through, we do now just need to loosely cinch it in place by tightening down that cable clamp bolt at the end there. And then, at this point, I'm gonna to defer to two videos that are already on the channel, because what we need to do next our index our gears. So we have how to index your rear derailleur and how to index your front derailleur. But before you go to those videos, then we also have one last job, and that is that we need to retape our handlebars and of course securely tape our outer cables under the handlebars before we do that. Now, even before indexing, we do need to, of course, get rid of that extra length of cable that's now flapping around outside our derailleur. So cut it about two centimeters away from the derailleur. And then to finish it, we need to put this little bit of metal, which is a cable end cap, over the end of the cable. And then we cinch it in place using the crimping section of our cable cutters. And then we are just ready to index our gears and make them work perfectly. Like I said, we've got two great videos already on the channel. So if you wanna get through to them, how to index your rear derailleur down here and how to index your front derailleur down there. And then of course, before leaving this video, do make sure you subscribe to GCN. It's very simple, just click on the globe.